motherfucking C-A-T That's that dirty, dirty, dirty We getting that mullet money I think your girlfriend She wanna fuck me She like the flow And now she tryna touch She if that ain't your bitch All the dangerous cash Fuck, take a hundred thousand dicks in your ass All right, guys, welcome back to another Danger Cats podcast. Uh, we got a special one today. We're in Tabor, and I got Hooven, Uncle Foster, and Big Money with me, and B Thompson in the background just kind of listening in. He'll probably chime in every now and then. What's B going on, gents? Bad bitch. Not much, buddy. You? <laughs> yeah, not much. Just enjoying life. <laughs> Foster's, I, uh, I got to apologize to all the listeners out there, uh, Foster especially, I said that you smoked three packs of cigarettes in one day and it was seven if I'm correct, right? Yeah, that is true, yeah. yeah. I was trying to break my goal this year for, I was going to go for a full carton, but I never entered any golf tournaments, it was too busy for work, so <laughs> I'm going to have to postpone that until next year, but it will be broken. Yeah, the only you, time it can be broken is while golfing. You did have a, you did shatter a record down in Arizona though. That uh, what, how many cigs did we get you to smoke at one time? Well, it was eleven. I think it was about eleven or twelve <laughs> smokes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and then I, yeah, you got to have one after just to, first one of the podcast just fired up. Man, yeah. Danny's got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that Arizona trip, I kind of tried to talk about it earlier uh, in one of the episodes. But now that I got the fucking Warriors with me, this is going to be easier. <laughs> that, was, that was some friendships made. That was a hell of a fucking... We were in war, gentlemen. <laughs> high risk, high work trip right there. <laughs> Not I mean, it came from it. I mean, it fired up that night in Calgary. Oh, yeah. It was a... Hey, what do you say we should weasel down to the strip club for a quick beer before we go and have a nap before the flight? <laughs> Next thing, me and Olsen are fucking doing the old, wow, we should head down to Cowboys and fucking go spin one up. Because, fuck, she sounds wow, like it's a party we down. We don't fly out until 6 in the morning. That's perfect. <laughs> and then me and you slept at the fucking airport like a pair of retards. And got old bitches kicking us in the shoe. Excuse me. Excuse me. You guys are going to miss your flight. <laughs> the, best, the best is you guys coming and woke us up to get your luggage. Instead of just catching an hour nap with us and heading to the airport with us. No, I'll just get our luggage yeah. and get on down. Yeah, I just got 100 bucks cash. I was yeah, I robbed <laughs> conks about 100 bucks because I thought in my head that the flight was going to leave earlier than this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need some go money when I touch down in AZ. <laughs> just a fucking bonehead move. How awkward, how awkward was that? The old uh, hack, did you take some money out of my wallet? Well, he's like... This one's feeling a little light. Uh, I don't mean to be a cunt, but did you fucking tend to take money? I took money from you. I robbed you, too. Hey, hey Hackster, I'm not accusing you, but I'm missing about 200 bucks. You know where it's at? Let me check my pockets. I'm a little bit of a klepto when I'm hammered. <laughs> oh, here's your two brown ones, brother. I was wondering why I came home with no money. <laughs> I probably spent it for you. Well, I couldn't have went anywhere else. So. Oh, yeah, that one got out of hand. Those cab rides were just great. Oh, speaking of, the, the inventor himself, you, be, uh, you guys listening, if you've uh, called in for the Goat Yoga hotline, you've gotten <laughs> <laughs> Sensei Foster. How many phone calls have you gotten since we posted that video and your phone number on it? Oh, fuck, man. That, right when it got posted, it was easily, it was a 10 a day. <laughs> and, it, and it also, like, you know, at first I was like, ah, whatever. And then the next day another 10 and then at, finally my old lady she's like you gotta fucking shut your ringer off <laughs> and i'm like wow like i can't do nothing about it and, then, and so i'm trying to answer a lot of these phone calls eh, and talking to these guys eh, and then but i don't know i've probably had close to at least over 100 150 phone calls <laughs> some guy fo- he phoned me from texas and it was probably the best one i ever had he had a deep southern drawl and he said Hey, you the guy with the danger cats? And I said, yeah, yeah, that's me. And he said, man, I sure do love that goat yoga. And he says, and I'm like, fucking right, man. He's like, hell yeah, brother. And then he hung up. And I'm like, all right, all right then. Quick and easy and yeah. to the point. Yeah, see, yeah exactly. <laughs> what? That's the best one, hey? Yeah. Oh, fuck There's that. been a lot of interesting yeah. ones. but That one when we were sitting here when Buddy called you from Nova Scotia. Oh, yeah. That one was they a just, good one, too. They just picked up on it. Oh, that was funny. 
I thought it was hack phoning me, fucking with me because that was at least probably five, six months after yeah. this happened. And I got a phone call and some guy's talking about the cool yoga. And I'm like, ah, fuck, it's probably just hack. So, nope, it sure wasn't. <laughs> I, a lot of people like that can't believe that you, you actually put his phone number on the internet. Well, yeah, it's the hotline. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't a guy? Hey, $25 ahead. Yeah. We filmed that in the fucking cab just thinking it was a fucking joke. And then also, now it's on the internet. <laughs> the best part, too, is we were filming the goddamn Danger Cat Creator. Was Uncle Hack was sleeping after the hockey game. Yeah, yeah. I was doing a cab snooze. Yeah. <laughs> we left uh, We left Gila Arena because they didn't want us down there anymore. Mm-mm. And we decided to head to Scottsdale. Go. I think we were going to Whiskey Roll. Is that where we were headed? Yeah, we went to Whiskey Roll. We bought bottle service there. Oh, me and Olsen were just talking that on the ride uh, over here. And I got the brilliant move to throw down the credit card. <laughs> and, like, that thing doesn't have a lot of room on it as it is. <laughs> like, luckily, we snuck out of there. Boys, uh, I'm not excited to look at this one. <laughs> I remember looking at that bill, that receipt the next morning, and I could have just fucking put rocks in my pocket and swam in that pool. <laughs> hey, at least you didn't pull a biz nasty and not pay. Oh, that wouldn't have been good, hey. <laughs> well, they, made, they took the card. They took, no, I know. Oh, yeah. That would have been a good... We met him, too. Yeah. We're, we, yeah, fuck. Met him yeah, no, I, I, I was busy downstairs did. buying this goddamn jersey. I miss running into Biz Nasty. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, they gave the bobbleheads. You knew he was going to be there. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we met Nash, too. Yeah. Uh, Tyson, Tyson, Tyson Nash. Nash. Yeah. Tyson. yeah, that's his first name. If you come on down for BizNet... Bobblehead night and one dollar beers. Mm. Yeah. I was too busy babysitting the stupid goalie. <laughs> and fucking shoveling hot dogs into your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hoovin's eyes like, yeah, there's dollar beers down there. And dollar dogs. Oh fuck. <laughs> fuck. Where's this concession stand? I, I might wa- have I might have broken you know a foster broke the cigarette. Yeah. I think I might have broken the record. Well how many I dogs did you eat at the hockey game? Well I had two a period. <laughs> and, then, and then we went to what was that hell's one book hell's acre oh, yeah. and then we went out to the like i instantly go outside to have a hack a dart yeah and all of a sudden fuck it there's not far behind me is hooven i'm like well, fuck this guy doesn't smoke fucking sensors are fucking just tracking <laughs> boom hot dog stand yeah hot dog stand in the smoke pit you yeah. couldn't lose hey, there that bar is smart that's got to be the most fun <laughs> move i've ever seen just <laughs> put hot dogs where drunk people are smoking oh man <laughs> well, did, how many did you shovel back there i had three <laughs> so, so, like, yeah. can we get this straight you had nine dogs in the span of no, five hours because i had <laughs> well, you're <laughs> your mouth <laughs> off <laughs> no 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 in between there boys remember we left and we went into that other place and i said well i'll grab a dog here and then we had a couple of dave and busters before we went to the hockey game oh yeah that's right too that place is underrated oh underrated for sure i've never had so much fun in my life if you're bored down in america at like 11 o'clock and you want to get start day drinking go to your local dave and busters easily when is hooven fosters for those that don't know what hooven fosters is it's going to be a franchise opening up here in canada (laughs) of uh what a couple pinball machines in your garage i think i think so a couple pinball machines maybe a case of pilsner and uh, all the smokes you can have (laughs) hey i just got a new kid's toy for my kid it's a basketball shoot we could put that thing in there oh that's right we could fire that up that could be a winner it'd be like what was that remember that arcade here in town Oh, speaking of, we are in Tabor while doing this one. We're not in Edmonton. We're out of uh, Hooven's garage. So, <laughs> remember that arcade that was. Uh, we're at uh, we're at Hoover's Hoover's Incorporated. Yeah. We're yeah. in the business. Oh, on the first floor too. <laughs> 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 Haven't quite. This is where the money is made. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of transactions. Lots of rides get <laughs> picked up here. The, this is where the brain cells of the app is happening. Okay? <laughs> Just tweet me and I'll come pick you up. <laughs> But don't tweet me after 6 p.m. on Saturday. No. If you do, you're going to get a good time. <laughs> you might not get there, but you'll have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Code, we got, a, we got a customer downtown. We got to go down, <laughs> you know, like, mix up a few whiskeys and head down there and get this guy a ride. <laughs> Who had to start his own Uber company up after I ruined his fucking rating when we came home from Lethbridge there? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> well, we figured, wow, we better go out. 
for one night in Lethbridge there with Jables. So, oh, ah, so we go up there, hey, and I'm wow, we were feeling pretty, pretty good. And <laughs> pretty, like, me pretty and Hooven looked at out. Jables. Well, Jables, we're not. There's no way in hell we're gonna stay in Lethbridge. Wow, we'll get an Uber home. Okay, fuck, sure, shit. Hooven wants to get dropped off first, so we drop him off first, and all of a sudden I'm getting waking up. Fuck, I look, look, look down over my legs. Fuck, there's puke all over the seat. Not <laughs> <laughs> well, even that. There's puke all over the ass of his jeans. Like, I don't know yeah, how one sure. is sitting, yeah, and then he pukes on his ass. Who? who that was guy? me. You did. You yeah, puked so, on your own ass. So I'm not 100% sure what happened, but I remember I looked down. Oh, looked, I, I was My house was there, and, and I, I, looked at, I looked at Brady. I'm like, yeah, I don't sit there. <laughs> I got the fuck out. <laughs> then I got charged. Fuck up. 150 bucks. No, oh, it was like two. No, man. That guy two. didn't even know that you puked on the seat. He thought you puked outside. Yeah. Oh, so no. Gets, no, gets I got out. charged. I got even there. <laughs> at that point. The yeah. credit got, card says I got different. A, yeah. credit card statement of 260 It was on Uber's. No, man. So, we drop, we drop you off. Oh, fuck it. He, we drop you off. We keep driving down the fucking road. And then he gets out and hears that Peyton's fucking dry even. So, he gets out of the car. Takes a look and sees that there's a little bit of puke running down the side of the car. So he starts to get out, takes his fucking picture. He's looking, taking pictures of this fucking thing so we can charge him extra. And then oh, he charges sudden, extra. Oh, yeah. Sounds like. And then we drop off puke. Foster and I look over and there's puke fucking everywhere. Well, we can't we stop at McDonald's. So. <laughs> 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 fuck, that's his fair, fault, Dan. It's 100% fair, his fault. To be fair, we, fair, we, we did stop at three McDonald's on the way, but they're all fucking closed. Thanks, McDonald's. You lost one. You lost a loyal customer. And you made me puke. Oh, and yeah. I eat a lot of McDonald's. <laughs> Man, you should come out with just a strictly fast food hot dog joint. I, would you be really should. Idea. That would be actually, They're I think. They're kind of like Nathan's yeah. dogs. Like yeah. Hoover's dogs. Hoover's dogs. <laughs> this spelled dogs with a W and a G, like who let the dogs out? Signature dog. <laughs> Who've let the dogs out? <laughs> 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 fuck, fuck what's some other good memories from fucking Arizona? <laughs> fuck well, I don't fucking wrecking that TV and <laughs> oh, oh yeah I forgot big toss playing a little that one got out of it, yeah it turned that got out of hand real fast <laughs> yeah it would started out of us just sitting down having some supper Couple Bud Lights, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, hey boys, well, they got that beanbag. That was when them fuckers here. forgot my fucking supper. Oh, so yeah. I was out smoking, and they brought my burger to me, and I, I was, was eating and you. beating my burger and smoking at the oh, same time. Oh my god, That's that was it. the best thing I've ever <laughs> witnessed. This is fucking <laughs> the words that came out of your mouth verbatim were. Fuck do I love America. <laughs> and as he's, he's taking down a hundred percent American beef <laughs> sucking back a Marlboro. Like, fuck you that's heaven right there. Like, you are not nothing better was Kong's coming running up to me like, who we gotta go. Like we, we gotta get out of here. What are you talking about? You see that TV over there? It's blank? Yeah. Well, we hit it with the beanbag. No, Cox hit it. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, not we. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, fuck, man. Like, no yourself. one's fucking doing anything. Like, we'll just see how it, how it works out. Ten minutes later, nothing said. We're oh, fuck. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Not long Spikes after, up. you guys decided to leave me in a back alley, puke my guts out. <laughs> oh, that was. That long sounded like a you problem. That does sound like you <laughs> yeah. problem. The only reason I got we the got punt out of that bar. Remember? Yeah. The only reason yeah, well, we got kicked out was because you speared the Jenga set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That U.S. Marine walked up and said, "Fuck, man, look at those idiots over there just sitting there thinking that that tower shouldn't. That somebody's got to tackle that." I said, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "You're not gonna do it, are you?" Get your phone out, buddy. <laughs> I blew that. Goldberg spear. Yeah, I blew yeah. that thing up right as Kongs put the last one on to start the game. Yeah. All right, guys, who's ready? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that fucking security guard is like, "Hey, you need to go." So, all right, see you later, brother. And then the rest then, of us all follow. And then we, and we those, partied with those, those guys, guys from who, Detroit. Those guys from Detroit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Those guys were beauties. They were. And that beauty, guy was yeah. still texting me like five months after. Was he? Yeah, he was a beauty. The old man, the or old man. He, the old man, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he just he had loved all that it. Uh, good memori- or memorabilia from, uh, from the old Joe, the old Joe, old Joe, yeah, the Joe and 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 <laughs> Fuck, fuck yeah. That Red was, Hall signature <laughs> and Bobby Hall, and it was pretty cool. Well, is that number two? Uh, number two, yeah. <laughs> number two, 14 minutes in. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> that 
That was, that was the night you were wearing your leopard print spandex. Too, oh, right? yeah. oh, yeah. The brothers down there the just loved it. Were you wearing that night there, too? The macho oh, that, man, Randy Savage. No, no, oh, it was no, the no, fucking no. The, uh, full house guy. Full house full guy. House. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Danny, Danny Tanner. Danny Tanner. Yeah, Danny Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably thinking, what is this guy on acid? Like, because <laughs> you wore the Macho Man to the Arizona game. Because yeah. it was me and you oh, yeah. sitting ice level in the third period. Yeah, banging, banging on, the on, glass. on the glass. Who be the Vegas boys going? Yeah, cheering yeah. for Vegas, wearing a Phoenix jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trying to pump up the crowd. <laughs> Who are these animals? Remember that lady fucking looked at us. You can't sit there. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> remember, remember the security after when this that little kid was sitting there and all he wanted was a puck. Yeah. And security was just being a dick to him. And then and, me and you lay into him. Me and you went up to that security guard. You're and a I, I was looking prick. at him like, man, there's a puck sitting right there on the bench. Give it to me. I'll give it to the little kid, or you give it to the little kid. Someone give this kid a puck. That's all he wants. He's gonna make his whole weekend. Just he's like, nope. That's the NHL's property. That's the. It's just. Send someone from the NHL over here right now. Mm -hmm. And then so this guy comes over and like kind of puffied up like, what the fuck is it going on? I said, dude, this kid's sitting over here. All he wants is a hockey puck. It's first game. Oh, thanks, man. Like, thanks. Yeah. And then I remember heading up, running the James Neal's dad. Yeah. And fucking, I'm like, fuck, these, hack, these guys look a little, because we were, it was dollar beer night. We were fucking goon now. Yeah. And I looked. I'm like, fuck, these guys look like hockey parents or something. What are you, James Neal's parents? Actually, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to go. <laughs> you called my Classic foot in my mouth. <laughs> oh, I think fuck. I watched about 10 minutes of that game. <laughs> me and you Conks went outside and we smoked the whole time. Was it you? Yeah, I can't remember. Was, Somebody it was else. You, it was, it was you, me. me and Conks. I was out there for a bit yeah. too, yeah. 80, I missed the whole second period. $80 game ticket and fucking 80 bucks game, game ticket and fucking cigarettes. Smoking <laughs> a lot of darts. Darts. We were talking to that security guard out there. Yeah, that the whole fucking Willie Nelson looking yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, the old boy. Willie Nelson looking motherfucker. Willie Nelson looking motherfucker. Yeah, the old boy. Fucking Peyton, you lost a lot of money on fucking sports events that fucking weekend. Fuck. Well, you Sit know, outside so. smoking the whole hockey game, fall asleep during the football game. <laughs> <laughs> I was tired, eh? You know? <laughs> the winning field goal gets kicked, and we look back, and Foster and Hacker just arms crossed like two old men and lazy boys just. <laughs> out. The best is that fucking American <laughs> flag <laughs> hanging out of your hat, man. That was even, the best. I don't even remember where we got that thing oh, from. Man. And then uh, remember fucking every time we just like whoop somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably my favorite part what of the whole weekend. That? We're trying to get the wave going. Oh yeah. yeah, everybody's like, cool. It would get caught up at the 30, 30 yard line at the other end. Because we had like half the stadium was in, in on it. The up, the upper level was going around. Mm -hmm. But it would get to those where the press boxes and all that shit were. And it would just die like, off. Fuck off, you Canadians. Yeah. Hey, here's one now that I just, just thought of it. What? Remember after going to the hockey game? And uh, they didn't play the Canadian anthem, and we went into that Hell's Acre or that other bar. Oh, there. sang O Canada. Remember sang O Canada and had the whole bar going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, everybody had so fucking arm over their hearts. <laughs> you almost got shot. <laughs> that was the next night. That was the next night. Yeah, that was you almost got shot by a police game. officer. <laughs> Run! Hey guys, wake up! Yeah. Freeze, motherfucker! <laughs> Whoa, man! All I'm trying to do is meet up with my bros. Typical American. Yeah. Eh? Anything to shoot Anyone somebody. <laughs> shoot first, gun. ask questions yeah. later. That fucking old guy with the can gets suplexed too by the yeah. cop. Like, oh yeah! <laughs> trying to spit on when cops you were and stripping hit him with in there <laughs> on the stripper pole. Remember yeah. that fucking old? He was a war vet. He was an old war, was an old war vet, can, but he was kind of fucking. Being a, he was kind of pissing around in there. Yeah. And that fucking uh, Look at that. was it the cops or was it the I fucking? I think it was the balance. The he bouncer, he like him, suplexed yeah. him. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, he gave him the fucking Eddie Guerrero three three amigos. That was the same fucking night that <laughs> off. There's that fucking pretzel stand and it had that old school fucking oh, beer sitting in the back yeah. that was about a hundred degrees. Hacksaw, you won't drink that fucking pretzel beer. Sure as shit, fucking drinking oh. and puking, fucking every gulp, every puke. I forgot about that. That thing was like hotter than the coffee, like a fucking Tim Hortons tea, man. Oh, mm. That thing was man. just, he's like, yeah, no, we put it we in there. Like, it's Hortons. a fresh beer. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. <laughs> How about after that incident where I almost got shot and we get in the cab and he's a black driver, right? And he's, 
Man, you are lucky you're white. I would have been shot before they even asked anything. <laughs> He's not He's wrong. He's like, you boys, you boys be careful tonight. Yeah. You look like you're on a tear. Yeah, he, he knew we were from out of town, yeah. too. He's like, you guys is, aren't from here. Are you? <laughs> this is day four. <laughs> I think the funniest cab ride might have been the first one. When we're driving, like, where the hell are we going? We might have been going downtown to the Dave and Buster's, and that cab driver looks over at us. And he's like, yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's a wheat field over there. Nope. That's a cornfield. That's fucking cool. No, they make bread out of it. Yeah, maybe cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, we're from the corn capital of Canada. Like, I'm pretty, moving who you looking pretty at him? He's like, that one, yeah. I'm a farmer. <laughs> then who fucking... Remember oh, how... you asked him... Or you asked him... Hey, where hate. do you get your hair cut? And he's bald as a fucking... <laughs> So uh, where does a guy get a haircut? Yeah, yeah. Here? <laughs> he looks at you because that was that was when you said you fucking you'd put the steps or the Hulk Hogan or something into your head, and, and uh, if, if we found a hairdresser in the next twenty minutes, who was doing the Hogan? Foster was, was going to do the Hogan. Yeah. Oh man! And so you said, buddy, you know where I can find a hairdresser out here? <laughs> he kind of looks over at you like. Is this guy retarded? <laughs> As he's telling us, we're going to fucking make cornbread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no shit. That was just about as good as... Just about as good as when Bolsh asked that fucking guy when he puts his winter tires on. <laughs> yeah, in Arizona, he looks at the guy. So, uh, what time do you usually put your winter tires on? That guy's head snapped back. And, like, remember, he's bitching about that accident, you know and he damn near fucking yeah, the, bowled over that pedestrian. The best part is the old buddy. He's all, oh, Mister. Yeah, you know what? I just started driving Uber. It's, I've been driving Uber for about four months, and I've, you know what? Out of my whole driving record, I've never been in an accident. And it wasn't 30 seconds later, you down here smashes that pedestrian oh, yeah. crossing the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, what the fuck is that bitch doing across the road right now? <laughs> yeah. Sir, it's a red light. <laughs> is that before? Uh, we had to stop because we, we needed that to get smoked. That was before smoked. we stopped. Yeah, we had to get smoked. We got and then smokes I, and monsters. And I got fucking two amazing fucking maple on dogs. <laughs> 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 man, them fucking things, man. Holy fuck, are they good. You know, after watching about eight... Oh, fuck, it had to been close to six, seven, eight hours of wrestling that day. Oh, and yeah. Then, yeah. That was a deadly day. Oh, time. Fuck. You know, the best, I think the best show. thing ever was, you know, buddy Craig, he says to me, he says, wrestling's fake. I said, well, okay, Craig, well, I'll go up on top of the roof and I'll throw you off and we'll see how fake that is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, then it was like we watched mankind get tossed through the hell through the cell. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that fake? Is this fake, Craig? Yeah. Does that look fake to you, Craig? <laughs> Shane O'Mac off the top oh, fucking cage. Fuck. Does that look fake to you now, Craig? <laughs> and then it turned into. Then we watched a compilation video of Swanton bombs for twenty five minutes. Oh, man. <laughs> that was amazing, man. That, oh, you gotta love a good. I Swanton. guarantee you, it's been what two years since that. Is it two years? Are we running on that's two years? Year. We're coming on a year. What's oh, fuck. We're, we're not even like, a year yet. Oh, it's not, not even a year. Oh, yeah, last, that's right. Cause last weekend, November last was, year. Uh, that's right. I bet you. weekend down in the States. I'll put my bottom dollar that those guys are still getting wrestling ads on their YouTube channel right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guarantee you. We watched so much wrestling that it was just like, okay, this guy's a diehard fanatic. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know whose bright idea I figured we'd fly out at 8 at night. Oh, that was brutal. I, My car fucking me. broke down. Because that was me, or I was like, you, you know what, boys? We'll get the whole day, we'll relax, fly out. We're just all sitting there in a state of depression. Just all hey, but we at ourselves. least got pretty lucky that that guy let us stay there yeah. in the house. Because if we went to stay in the house, we would have been all fucked up drunk we again. Been hammered again. <laughs> mm. Honestly, that might have been the better plan, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then just get an Uber to. Then Just get, get an Uber back to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, do you smoke in here? <laughs> Did you guys see that kid in New York? Which, that, which one? So he gets an Uber, and he says, I want to go home, and then passed out. And he had like a 12-minute Uber ride, but he the Uber driver didn't, didn't know where home was, and he couldn't wake this kid up. So he just searched the guys and said, send me home. Fucking took an 18 hour Uber ride to like Boston, Massachusetts or something from like wherever the hell he was. <laughs> Fuck <Jesus. laughs> 18, 18 hours. hours. That's, that's a, a good sleep. dedicated driver. The guy fucking slept the whole time. <laughs> wow, that's a good sleep. He must have been tuckered out. He just dropped off. It was like fucking $1,400 or something like that, right? Not too bad. And, but Not no, too bad. <laughs> to drive 18 hours. <laughs> 
wouldn't have thought it was a little steeper. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you, how much to drive me across Canada? Fifteen hundred. Ah, it's a little much. <laughs> Buddy went from upstate New York all the way to Boston for a lot, just slightly less. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get an Uber from Edmonton to Vancouver, please? <laughs> well, I guess if you're paying. Yeah, I guess, right? Go Uber around in Van City for a little bit. Oh, God, you can pay oh, me enough fuck. to go down there. Holy fuck. When we got there and we thought that fucking chick stole our luggage. Oh, yeah, the, when, right when we got into the city, the, yeah, that fucking... Oh, remember fuck. she parked in the back? Don't worry, Jen, so I'll be here. And we're, we're in losing it. Yeah. I was going to say, the best Uber might have been that whole weekend was with, <clears throat> from the fucking airport. We go get booze, go to the fucking house. Fucking Hooven gives this guy, I don't know, buck 65 in change, eh? Here you go, bud. Slaps her on the fucking, slaps her on the console. Buddy gets out of his fucking cap and hugs it out Hooven. Well, I guess he's not hurting for cash. <laughs> that might have been the guy that fucking took that kid to fucking Boston. <laughs> Oh, that was after a long day of travel. Oh. Me and Kong started oh, sipping man. whiskeys on the get flight at 7 in the off, morning. You were fucking gooned eight. when we touched down. Seattle. Where did we? Yeah, we touched down Seattle. in Seattle, and then they were handing out Di Serono shots with your bacon and egg. Like, <laughs> it's 8.30. <laughs> what are you fucking thinking? <laughs> and you're just uh, like, all of us are like, no, not a chance. I'm not getting into this that early. It's 8.30. <laughs> and fucking Hooven's like, well, who's drinking those? <laughs> and just sucks all of them back. Well, we know, we, Conks did too. Conks was right there with you. Yeah, that's right. Because remember, because we ended up getting on that flight from Seattle to Phoenix. And I got sat by this lady. Yeah. And Conks got sat by someone else. Oh, I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> this lady said, sitting beside me, I just, I'm like, you know what? I got an idea. I'm going to annoy her until she wants to switch with my buddy. It's a hell of a plan. <laughs> and I it literally you. took 10 minutes of me. Oh, so your name's Shauna. That's the same name that my mother has. Like, like, <laughs> Let me tell you about my mom. How many, <laughs> how many kids do you have? Um, and then I see, hey, Conks, what's going on, buddy? Hey, what are you doing, bud? And then... Is, is that your friend? Yeah. Do you think he'll switch with me? Oh, I don't know. You might have to go ask him. Oh, she wants to know if you want to switch. Fuck yeah. Perfect. She shot she, up. Like she a, shot up and oh my God. So, I don't know. He's a pretty hard ass. Yeah. <laughs> the old classic soul. Where are you from? Oh, fuck. I got one of these guys sitting beside me at 9.30 a.m. heading to Arizona. Oh, no. This was 1 o'clock. In How long morning? were we at we had, a, we had a three-hour layover in Seattle. Oh, yeah. Yes. We were just getting See, me, Swiss cheese. Me and Bosch fucked up because yep. I think me and Bosch took the direct Seattle flight, I think. Home. I can't remember. What's that? On the plane when you fucking put your card down and never actually took your card. Oh, yeah. Who sat beside me? Who was drinking with me? Craig. Craig. <laughs> Craig was beside me. I was like, fuck, Craig. Let's just get fucked up. And I fucking, okay, yeah, just keep the beers rolling. Keep the beers. Me and Craig probably drank about six, seven beers each. And she didn't swipe my card on that. So fucking, and you know, beers up in the air. Yeah, they're 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 ten nine, bucks, ten bucks nine, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Craig's like, did you pay for those? I was like, no, grab your fucking bag and get the fuck out of <laughs> yeah. here before she gets any fucking clue out here. Well, she, what got me yeah. and Conks all fucked up was, remember, we sat in the airport <laughs> in Calgary. And I'm like, you know what, man? Let's wait out this whole lineup and walk in the plane. Just wait till they say last call for the boarding. Plane's right there. And we'll walk on. <laughs> So we go have two beers in the in the fucking bar in the airport. We walk in. And I'm like, oh fuck! First four rows are empty. Let's just sit down here. Me, T Mac, and Conks. We sit down, and the lady comes by like ten minutes later. Like they usually don't do that, right? They usually don't come right away. Do you want something to drink? I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, well, it's. Can we get a beer? Like it's seven o'clock in the morning. She's like. Uh, sir, you're sitting in first class. You can get whatever you want. Okay, I'll take three ride cokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold the caviar. Just get me three ride cokes. Uh, <laughs> me and cokes end up swacked on this flight down just to Seattle. See, fuck you. From guys Calgary. Are, from Calgary. Oh shit! You I guys didn't know how to work a fucking airport. Yeah. I don't know. Fuck <laughs> me and when me and fucking Peter went to that fuck when we went to fucking England there. Yeah. 
we missed the flight down there. <laughs> See, I was confused. There's, there, I thought I, we were in a different gate, but there was fucking glass doors there that would only open when people came through them. Well, I f- told Corey, I said, that's our gate there. We, we're just going to have to wait for people to come through, and then we're going to sneak in there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fuck, nobody came through. And so, you know well, what? I, I, England. Me and Corey looked at each other. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just sit at the bar and we'll just drink. If we miss our flight, we miss our flight. <laughs> so we sat there. We got fucking absolutely hammered. Yeah, we're calling the flight to England. Jesus Christ, Corey, we were actually in the right spot. <laughs> fuck did this happen? Well, and then, remember, we got down to Seattle, and we sat down with um, other people that were going to Hawaii, and then Brady texted me, and was like, where are you guys? <clears throat> I'm like, oh, we're in, uh, we're right by S, uh, 37 gate. He's like, you guys are still in that terminal? I'm like, yeah. Like, or thing just, like, three steps away. He's like, nah, that's a little part of the airport. You guys gotta board a train. <laughs> we're like, what? You gotta board a train. It's last call. And you yeah. guys are in the fucking wrong part of the airport. You're we're, at the so, we're in the Seattle International, brother. <laughs> so we board that train, and I I sat down beside that Chinese girl, and I don't know what was going through my head. The whiskey, obviously. And I looked over at that lady. I remember Hack and Craig were right across from me, and. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, oh fuck. no. Man, they, when me and fucking Bosch were fucking boarding the plane, this fucking, that, some Asian guy, he had a fucking life jacket on and everything. I looked at Bosch, I said, holy fuck, Bosch. I said, this is not a good sign, buddy. Like, I mean, this plane is either going down or this guy's fucking swimming to Arizona, one of the two. <laughs> Who was with me when, uh, was it me and you, when I looked at that guy that drove the, that drives the golf carts or whatever, takes you to your yeah. terminal? Yeah. And I looked at him, he's like, you ever played a game of stop and go? Yeah. And I fucking <laughs> hammered down on the gas pedal and he's like, he's hitting me in the arm. <laughs> he's hitting you in your leg. The old the, charcoal. Yeah, he's he's punching like, me in the leg like, what the fuck are you doing? We're almost running people over. <laughs> and I was like, that's a good game, eh? You never played it before? He's so, like, you're fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> These people are like jumping out of the way. Like, Get the fuck out of the way! <laughs> he, he was absolutely man. He was hitting me like Manny fucking Pacquiao in the leg. <laughs> that ain't gonna move her, brother. We're in this to win it. <laughs> He's like trying to hammer the brake. He's about to put her into a fucking pole just to stop it. <laughs> just be a real hero. Stop some people from getting ran over. <laughs> Oh. You remember when we got to our gate and they were all fucked right up? Like, they didn't have anybody on the flights or anything? Mm-hmm. And then, me being the old Mr. Smart Drunk Man roll up there. <laughs> Lady, do you need help? Oh, uh, yeah. Can you actually just be security? I'm fucking hammered telling people, Oh, she doesn't want to talk to anyone. No. Nope. You were doing this? Yeah. <laughs> B-Top was standing right there. I was rolling security in the airport. Yeah, we'll put you in first class here for your service. Now nah, just give me 12 dogs. I'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> the drunkest guy in the airport's running security. Yeah. Fucking hell of a job. They got hot dogs on this flight? <laughs> <laughs> just See, that's, the best, that's the best thing about the old lady's daddy. He, when we went down to Nashville. He says, I only lay over in Denver. I thought, well, you know, whatever. Denver's a nice place. But <laughs> didn't think anything of it. They smoke in the airport. I thought, holy fuck, is this guy smart. <laughs> so from now on, wherever we go, we're laying over in Denver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're flying to Salt Lake. Ah, we got to stop in Denver first. You're going to have to fucking take a pit stop in Denver. <laughs> yeah, you guys might as well if we stopped. <laughs> You might pulling this down. I wouldn't mind getting over a small. Yeah. It just open a window, eh? <laughs> Do an old classic lander on the highway just so I can yeah. fucking have a quick. One. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, times used to be a lot simpler. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget walking in that fucking house and watching you keeled over a two seater fucking recliner couch with that council in the middle. Foster's laying across it, man. It looked like your spine was a Z. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, what are you doing? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> and he goes down to his knees and buries his head into the couch. What the fuck am I witness? Foster, were you doing some goat yoga? What the fuck is goat yoga? <laughs> I don't know, but you were doing it. And then it was born. That's where it started. 
the sensei himself <laughs> rose from the fucking ashes like the phoenix he is. <laughs> 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 the best is like the best one that we got was on B-Top, the oh. old burrowing owl. Oh. But I cannot find the video of it anywhere. I, 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 you I, got, I got the video of that one too. I think it was the lazy leopard. Oh yeah, yeah. look at him. <laughs> oh, it's actually on the video if I'm correct, isn't it? Yeah, it might be. Yeah, it looks like Julianne is just Jer jerking him <laughs> off. <laughs> the six stages of tranquility. Yeah. Yeah. Six, <laughs> six stages of transal. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking Caleb, eh? They're doing it, damn, eh? The goat yoga program will take 10 years off your life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Out. Out. <laughs> Out. <laughs> the best is fucking... You guys fired me that night. Oh, yeah. It's wow. It was... It, I was running a camera at 5 in the morning, and I was thinking it was Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. see, I, we needed to hire better people. <laughs> That's all there was to it. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I got a nice raise. Yeah, you got, got a raise got to a general manager, but... <laughs> no, I was executive producer. That's but. right. Fuck. fuck. Every goddamn cab ride was a quick nap between bars, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. I got, we one, were, I got that, one hell of a video night. of you and fucking T-Max sleeping in the backseat of this van. Oh, that van. There's one oh, video yeah. of you guys are having That's one hell of a time. The the war. Your ass yeah. is out. You're smacking your ass and then fucking two minutes later you're both fucking zonked out. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> Just, a, and the time on the fucking video is like 8.24 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> you had to catch your you had to quick, catch quick one sleep when you could. That was, yeah. that was after that was the best $80 game. I ever spent in my life. It was, yeah. <laughs> that was after the football game. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. When we oh, started drinking at 10 a.m. Oh, man. And then we didn't just little mama with the Sips. We didn't just have a couple sips. The boys went heavy. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that one got out of hand fast. That was a, probably my favorite trip of my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I could relive 24 hours, pick any moment of that weekend because <laughs> we were what? Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> First time we did it, just walking down there. What? Axel looks. <laughs> The fuck did you just This is called What? <laughs> this is called Gillas Arena Casino. Where the fuck's the casino? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <we're... laughs> the best part too is I went and asked that one lady, hey, where is the casino? There's no casino around here, blah blah like I get home, Google it, it's in the back of that hotel. There's a giant casino. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was a probably good thing we didn't go to that casino. <laughs> yeah. I was already broke We'd after the first night in Cali. We'd we end up like fucking Chevy Chase and National Oh yeah, yeah, but you know, good thing in Chevy Chase in the end, he won a lot of money. <laughs> so I mean, well, no, his kids won all the money. Yeah. Oh wow. Either way. We dropped enough money at David Buster's point cards. <laughs> we don't need to be going spending actual dollars. Hey, Everybody man. was rolling around with the platinum card. Just <laughs> yeah, we, uh, everyone <laughs> yeah. dropped a hundred bucks. And then that, that little girl that, uh, remember that beauty we met? Well, yeah, I just to say, my, my shout out to that beauty we met down there. Sean's the official on Instagram. He's actually an artist. Yeah. And then his yeah, brother was a kicker in the NFL. Yeah. He got lit up in that one video. He kept showing Oh, yeah, he showed yeah. us that video of him. He that just, big bowl game. Yeah. yeah. He, was, he was going to punt it and he just Are you got grabbing beers? Hammered. Can you grab me one? You better believe it. Sick. Yeah, yeah that guy. Be, be Sean's the official, so shout out to that guy. Because remember we were looking and like he's sitting there with the yellow tint sunglasses and all of us looked at it like... I bet you that guy throws down. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't mean to be a weirdo, but I'm just want to say you look fantastic right now. <laughs> just some small sunglasses? little guy, yeah. you know, and then he's got this big motherfucker with him. Like, fuck, yeah. this guy's got to be important. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, me and my brother are just coming out for a drink. We're originally from Texas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just bringing my kid out for uh, her birthday or yeah, something it was, it was like that. Her birthday or yeah, something like that. And yeah. then Foster, and then, and then, you just went and like, I can't handle conversation right now. Do you mind if I just take your daughter and just go play games? And he's yeah, like, Yeah. The best first part. thing he said, the yeah. best thing was, is, is he, hey, is my daughter okay with that guy? Oh yeah, don't worry, that guy's a kid himself. <laughs> if anything, <laughs> if there's a guy in here, you don't gotta worry a fucking thing about. He'll take care of her. If anything, those guys are talking about fucking Disney Channel cartoons <laughs> together. I got, I got one question for you. Does your daughter like smoking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. If there's a fucking grown man that acts like a child and just smokes darts like a fucking absolute Ooh, mongoloid. Hold on, seven o'clock, I need a cigarette and a monster. <laughs> and oh, yeah, that fucking. How about the walk after David Buster's when we all got banged up? Oh, so when you went for the old ice slide. Yeah, they had yeah, a for public two skating hours. arena out. In the middle of the desert, and us Canadian boys are like, ooh, ooh. What do we ooh. got here? 
<laughs> well, old hack goes, boys, should I do a little slide for you? Oh, fuck yeah. Right as the bony's going right out, too. Right as the going on. And, like, we fucking, we kind of ran from there because security was kind of looking at us and whatnot. And we, we literally ran, like, what would you say? Oh, I got out of there. I no, was gone. No, like, you were Jeez. gone. Oh, yeah. And me and Craig... I whooped about nine people. <laughs> you stopped to check out a couple of jerseys. Me and Craig right? went to check out a couple of jerseys, like, way down there. Like, we weren't even close to the arena, or the public skating area. Right. And the security taps me on the shoulder in the thing. You have to leave. I'm like... <laughs> you guys affiliated with the guy in the yellow I'm shirt? Like, what? <laughs> no, no, fuck and no. he's like, he's like, you guys were all part of that group that ran away from us. I'm like, the fuck are you smoking, pal? You know what? Where are you going? To the hockey game. I'm going to try and buy this jersey right here, though. Home to Canada. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> this place sucks. <laughs> and then he's like, you know what? Star Wars you, boys, you boys go to the hockey game. You go to the hockey game, and you go there, and then you leave, and you, and you, you go home. That's right. Huh? Like, fuck. Okay, sounds good, buddy. Well, that's the plan. So we'll we go to the hockey game. game. <laughs> Five hours later, you think he's going to remember us? No, he didn't, because we walked out of there, and you guys know my memory. I fucking looked right at that guy. Hey, man, how you doing? Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, fuck you. You didn't remember me. <laughs> Worst part about that is, fuck half them mall cops probably have guns. Yeah. You're the fuck yeah, right. We didn't get shot. <laughs> good we got a breaker on the bony here. <laughs> yeah. Fire it up. <laughs> Drop that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, how about our foot race? I was just gonna mention that to your ass. Well, (laughs) fuck, barely. I was smoking at the time too. Oh yeah, oh, you had a lit wow. dart going. Remember, we had a crowd for we that. Had a crowd I think there were some bets even getting yeah. I think you might have beat me by maybe a foot. Like, a, like a foot foot. <laughs> have you seen these little fucking legs? <laughs> yeah, well mine aren't that big. <laughs> there was enough stupid sh- The best is when me and you were in the fucking like when that night everybody went home, me that and Olsen funny. got the bright idea. Yeah. Like, wow, we need some blondes. Yeah. <laughs> in fuck. Scottsdale, the only two white guys on the block. Oh, yeah. Like, we were oh. in the hood, man. Like, we were with the brothers. Was and that, like, uh, that was Sunday night? The football that was, that was, that yeah, was that's what you were at the other bar. We that. see these two hanging around with all them black guys, and, like, and, they, get, <laughs> and they were loving us. Like fuck. we were out there yeah, telling yeah, jokes and like yeah, fucking. You, you, we were, were trying to get our green, green card, card at one point. Yeah, whatever yeah, one we were in. Hey, we would say I get dual citizenship out of you there, you old bird. We the Steelers game after all three of us. Can we get a fucking green card? And then we went into that other bar. And then we walked and then out we of there, and the- we seen we seen a fucking whole hood of fucking guys surrounding these two. I thought, holy shit, and this is not we- good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Uncle Hack, man! I'm thinking, okay, they're okay then. <laughs> yeah. all, the, all these brothers are just... <laughs> yeah, they're fucking <laughs> absolutely killing themselves. And then you were like, fuck these guys. guys what are these black club? motherfuckers? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We went down to that strip club and fucking lost everybody. The- I passed, passed out in the... Cab, eat yeah, that massive burger. Oh, oh well, I told oh, that guy oh, we gotta stop and get this guy something to eat. He's all he looks awfully hungry. Right. Hey, he oh, hasn't oh, had a yeah. dog in fucking <laughs> sixty at minutes. least sixty <laughs> minutes. I got him a cheeseburger. <laughs> Man, the the worst part of that is that the when we were hanging out with all them black guys, this guy walks up, look at all these, and just drops a hard end bomb. And no, I'm like, he didn't. Yeah, and he's like, hey, he's a black guy, so he gets away with that. But yeah. then all of a sudden, like, I looked at him, and was like. Come on, man. He's we're the only two white guys. We're from Canada. We're not that, like, come on. He's, he's, he's including like, us like we're the ones that are wanting to say it. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? Are you trying to get me killed? Like, <laughs> look at these black motherfuckers. Yeah. Look at all these black motherfuckers. And I'm like, man, I need to get away from this guy. He's going to get me beat the fuck up. Dude, I but, am five foot four in a deep freeze tone. Like, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't need to be around here. I'm not trying to get murdered. The best yeah. is, remember when we seen that guy in the Toronto uh, oh, Blue Jays hat? Snoop Dogg. Oh, looking motherfucker that yeah. loved wrestling. Yeah. Oh, and then he man. turned around and he goes, Oh shit, you got a macho man, Randy. Yeah. You like wrestling? Buddy, do I wow. like wrestling? <laughs> Buddy, who doesn't little, like wrestling? Little, little time out here. We met him at the taco stand. He crushed oh, about yeah. four tacos. And we roll over to the deep dish pizza stand. He grabs about two fucking slices of this pizza. 
Two minutes later, we see him at the next pizza joint crushing a whole fucking two or three slices, and his old lady's sitting oh, there yeah. looking desperate as hell. Remember <laughs> she <laughs> asked him for a bite of his pizza, and he's like, hell no, bitch, get your own goddamn job. <laughs> <laughs> This is my food, bitch. I'm saving my money for WrestleMania. Yeah. He talked, he met, and that guy had more wrestling knowledge. Like, you would have had the best conversation oh, with that guy. He had, he's like, yeah, man, I was at uh, SummerSlam just not too long ago. He's telling us all these wrestling memories, man. He got rated. He was he was hyped. That fuck, I would have liked to talk to that guy. He know. was a beauty. I don't even know what ended up happening that night. I just know we made it home. We were in that <laughs> fucking, I just know we, yeah, we, me and barely. you were falling asleep in that black Tahoe. And that, like, we got the Uber XL, like a bunch of fucking idiots. Let's tack on another $80 for the ride for yeah, two guys that we're gonna yeah. sleep in yeah. the best, the these best ladies old, are looking pretty thick think they can fit the best though the first night in Arizona we went down to Tempe and five different cab rides home yeah five wow. five different I took my own Kongs took his own I took my you own you took your own Lane, fucking, Lane well, and then the rest of the boys. That's the fucking first that's night right. in Phoenix. You know what's going to be a good night when fucking Caleb sleeps on a rock and I wake up <laughs> leaning against a dumpster. <laughs> that's that's fucking funny. Funny. <laughs> I remember, remember Caleb telling us that story the next morning of him drunk trying to run, run up to that girl just to find out where he was. Like, to thought try it was use some phone. fucking <laughs> home. She thought he was some homeless heroin addict <laughs> running at him for money. <laughs> She she runs into the building and he's banging on the building to try and get in. Like, buddy, what are you thinking, man? <laughs> what is this? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre two coming here? He, he calls us. He calls us at like nine o'clock. Like we just went to bed down here. Yeah. And, boys, where are you at? The house? Where are you? Oh, I'm downtown, kind of like in some kind of glass booth. Fuck. What? Is it a phone booth? <laughs> Speaking of Caleb, I've never seen a guy get judo flipped harder in a bar. I was just about to say that. Was that was the best was thing I've ever seen because I remember oh, I was sitting was, there with fucking Hoove and I looked at it and I could see him. He's kind of chatting with his guy and I could see this guy is, is starting girl, to get kind of mad. Too, yeah. I like looked at Hoove and I'm like, this is going to be good. All of a sudden, he fucking judo flipped. So I'm like, holy <laughs> fuck. He hocked him right over his goddamn so, shoulder. So we, Funny, I start walking up there and then fucking bounce. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck, we don't need any more. And I'm like, no, man. Like, I'm coming to congratulate this guy. Like, I, that was a hell of a judo flip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not your buddy? Well, yeah, he is. But fuck still. <laughs> yeah. I, the we're real like, recognize real. <laughs> yeah, we're like, and then me and you were just going up like, what was going on there? Like, what, and then security guards were getting all tough and like, telling us to back away. We're like, man, we just want to know what was going on. And Caleb, he was so fucked up. I'm like, Caleb, what the fuck did you do? I don't know. I got flipped fucking hard though, boys. Yeah. <laughs> I think... He said something stupid. You know he said something stupid. Oh, and that yeah. guy just got up. Whoop! And he almost went through that fucking coffee table. Remember he hit that thing? Boom! Everybody in the bar is like, and you just hear him. Oh, oh. The wind's knocked out of him. And then it wasn't, what, an hour later? Like, he just disappeared, right? Yeah. It wasn't an hour later. He just showed right back up and he tried coming right into the bar. And like four security guys just fucking grabbed him, pulled him out. Yeah. Like, no. No, you're not coming back. Yeah. The fun. The, it's funny how they like uh, thought that we're coming to defend his honor, and fucking everybody's like, "Fuck, man, that was a sick toss." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they probably. But man, that that guy that flipped him turned into such a dick, though. He did. He, after, did. he was like, a beauty he, at the beginning. Yeah. And then he was just fuck you guys, like blah blah. And we're like, man, like we don't give a. We fuck. don't fucking care. Yeah. We fight each other for yeah. fuck's sakes, and we're over it in ten seconds. We're uh, Canadian, bud. Like yeah. Saw shot Hooven in the face for fuck's sake. Yeah, <laughs> I shot my cousin in the face, and we're good. Yeah, and if you guys haven't listened, to listen to episode nineteen, boys. Like, catch up. <laughs> yeah, shouts out to Hooven yeah. on episode nineteen. Yeah, listen to my episode. <laughs> 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 fucking Hoover Ubers here. Yeah. Sponsored by Hoover. Are you gonna sponsor this one? You got an extra couple five bucks or something like that? <laughs> like, actually, what do you, yeah, you, you can have that mongoose. Got some cash on me today. I'll, you should, I'll should have enough fucking sponsoring Hoover's, Hoover's Ubers. Uber this podcast is brought to you by Hoover's <laughs> Ubers. You can tweet them at Hooven. <laughs> <laughs> There's Hooven with four O's. 
was four, and for an or extra dollar, you don't make like, hot dog cars. Yeah, we're looking yeah, at like you, Dallas Smith. Oh, of speaking of, <laughs> yeah, speaking of <laughs> shitty, fire, speaking of shitty up? country music, <laughs> did we fire that whole conversation up. Oh, the Dallas Smith oh, thing. Fuck. We can talk about it. We can talk. I don't well, give we a fuck. Tread lightly, hey. We don't want to sabotage. Man, you were getting shredded after that, and it was hilarious. I was the best part, dude. It wasn't fast. Lane didn't know because I had fucking. I had no clue. He took Lane out of the tweet. Oh, Dallas took Lane out of the tweet, and when I showed Nate or uh, Lane on Sunday night, he's like, "The fuck!" He tweeted back and took me out of it. I'm like, "Yeah, you did that on a couple of mine too." <laughs> yeah, so that I'm was... sitting here thinking I fucking roasted Dallas Smith and he didn't say anything back, so I'm like puffing up my chest. The best too <laughs> is when he's yeah, nothing like putting a couple of bullies in their place, buddy. Danger Cats has more followers than you, man. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and you're like. The funny thing is, is like he's like, what, what are you gonna bring? You gonna bring out all your goons? You gonna bring out all your goons? It's like, man, I I fucking posted it on my thing, laughing about it. Yeah, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Which it was. It's, oh yeah, you drug me into the fucking thing. I started Hooven, the whole thing. Hooven tweets him. It was something like offended about a flag or something like that, and then you drug me in, and then all of a sudden it was a bet, like if Canucks beat the Oilers. Yeah. If one of it's us has to one wear one, one, either one had to wear the other person's shirt yeah and then all I and tweeted the way I, back the way I looked at it was like you know what spread the danger cat's name and if you gotta wear a default shirt everyone's like the fuck's default <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then fucking my tweet back is what really set it off yeah you fucking... got him boy he just snapped yeah oh yeah what all I the fans t- one What's that? Which one was that one? Though? I tweeted no, back. Shitty music. It was like oh, the wow. only. It was like because of Edmonton and Vancouver Canucks. All I tweeted back was fucking. The only thing shittier than those two teams is your fucking music you're on. And I spelt your wrong in that one. And I I caught it as soon as I sit said her I hit send, and then fucking all of a sudden the on your. I was like, well, fuck. Fuck this Whoa. guy. <laughs> yeah, Dad. He's got a couple kiss faces too. I was he's got, to question He's that. got 47 likes yeah, on it, but they're all like 16 and Vancouver Canuck fans. Uh, <laughs> oh, and then what really set it off was the next day some fucking queer out of Ontario tweets me and is like, I don't know. And I said like, oh, he's like, your spelling is trash or yeah. something like that. I was like, <laughs> fuck you. you like, look, he had a fucking profile pic of him throwing a curling rock yeah. <laughs> with some fat ass in the background. It looked like he's playing like a Bush League curling match. He was just fuck. down at the, ta- the local Tabor yeah. men's curling ring. Yeah. yeah. Well, that goes with a twist. Too, Mo- for a mixed oh. scramble. Like, yeah, fuck you. you fucking dolt. So I tweeted him back and all I said was... Uh, your chirps are as shitty as your sports selections. And then the onslaught came. and well, fucking and Bocce back. balls are real sport. Yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> the, the thing I don't understand is, dude, you got a blue check mark. You're tweeting at two guys that on our personal pages, we have less than 500 followers equal yeah. together, right? Like, yeah. It's like, man, what are you doing? Like, I couldn't even figure fuck out the you, first thing. I got like 1,300 on Twitter, man. <laughs> dude, fuck, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Hacksaw says, well, get the, get the like, Twitter. We're going to fucking the light him up. blue check mark. And Dallas he's Smith never heard of it. All weekend, right? And the best is, uh, he, and then he's like, wants to fight us. Like, come down to our show and I'm going to fucking go you guys. And then and <laughs> that I, guy I couldn't get out of a wet paper bag. And then, <laughs> <let alone. laughs> and then I tweet at him, buddy. Are we going to have fun or am I just going to be wasting my time? Uh, that was a good tweet. That was a good tweet. Yeah, that, yeah, that was that one was... of the smarter things I've heard you say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, then he's like t- trying to like, he's texting somebody. Somebody knows us or whatever. Yeah. I know what you did all summer. Well, I fucking filmed it. And then if you, yeah, really, I filmed <laughs> it, buddy. <laughs> if you want to know what I did, go it's, and watch it's, Nine it's, Lives on DC2. I hide nothing here. Yeah. People, like. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what I've been up to. Uh, Dallas, Christ, I made a song just, about all the drug use we used over the summer. <laughs> I just wanted to give him my phone hey. number and tell him, hey, I, yeah, I know hacks are real good. Like, <laughs> I'll text you some good shit on him. Yeah. And then I when he got, what did he do? You're a fucking mom, buddy. Like, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> You can catch me at four zero three. <laughs> <laughs> easy on that number. Zero, I, won't, I won't put the last four numbers in that one. You know, you've had enough trouble. Yeah, zero time. zero. Hey, whoa! Uh, just go watch the goat yoga video, and you can give him a ring. <laughs> yeah, just phone me a little earlier than eleven p.m. <laughs> <laughs> guys got a full time zones, job, man. Yeah, well, time that zones. is time zones. You know. Oh fuck. 
So Hawk, what? How's Edmonton life? I mean, really, that's it was that, like a how's the weather fucking conversation here. What's it like leaving Tabor and going uh, to Edmonton? It, well, it's it, the city's nice, but the fucking the people are shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I shouldn't hey, say hey, that. Perfect, because this teed it up. Because when I came up to Edmonton, I think I seen the funniest thing ever I've seen in front of a bar. Oh, fucking fuck. buddy in the wheelchair, fucking rolling outside a shade. And all of a sudden, fucking two guys fucking throw him out of his wheelchair and beat the shit out of him with his own wheelchair. <laughs> he must have been getting a little handsy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, shit. Down at the strip club getting filled hey, up. Because <laughs> yeah. old Hoover's Ubers did a little Google's Maps and they realized there's a hotel <laughs> straight across <laughs> the street. A like, little Google's Maps. Yeah. Throw, throw an extra ass fucking on Fucking googly food. You know that Ubers, googly food. Ubers, Goobers, Gobbles, Googles. Oh, man. <laughs> It's definitely not, uh, when you're in the city, there's a lot of shit to do, but it's not like here. This is a fucking rodeo at any moment in time. You can go down to the Oilmans on a fucking Tuesday night, and somebody's fucking sending it. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. If you're lucky, you can head down to the Royal and self-serve. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got myself kicked off a beer league team. That's, <laughs> That's a good story, actually. Oh, uh, the fucking, what do they call it? The danger round now. Yeah, they call it the danger round. Eh? The old fucking bartender sitting outside smoking, so I thought I'd self-serve myself a spice rum and times five coke, you know. <laughs> <laughs> times five spice coke. Yeah. That's what I mean. Shut the other. <laughs> Thanks for that one. I appreciate that. Hey, I was a video camera for that one too. Well, the so best is a uh, fucking meathead like buddy that runs the bar. Texts me, he's like, "I'm gonna need you to take that video down there, brother." Uh, yeah, we're getting in a little bit of trouble here with that one. Uh, do you know who is who that guy is? And that don't have a clue, meathead. <laughs> <laughs> so the, best, the best part is meathead finds out who it is, and he's like, "Holy shit." It's, we gotta shut it down. We gotta, we gotta sh- shut it down. It's it's the ringer. It's the ringer of our hockey team. Yeah. Shut shut it down. He's, shut it he's down. worried the whole hockey team or, is or, gonna or, get <laughs> shut down. <laughs> over yeah. 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 We're gonna be losing again. Don't like, start. Cancel, cancel the New Jersey's boys. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Tupac Biggie murder yeah. of fucking Tabor. Hey, yeah. shut this case down, man. Yeah. We can't be scratching. Get it out of here. Yeah. Shut it down. He's wearing a Raiders jersey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Fuck. Oh, How's she doing free drinks? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I don't think your boys up there, like Walshie and LaRue, yeah. I don't think they keep up to us. Not down here, not a chance. No. I, I don't, Walsh, I don't. Walsh would have a good, uh, I'd give Walsh the benefit of the doubt. Brody, for sure. Brody would fit in like a fucking glove. Man, how fucked up did LaRue get? Sitting beside me at the top had me oh, yeah. shot. Yeah, when you went shot for shot with him, you put that old bitch to bed by fucking 10 p.m. Man, <laughs> 11 he come, p.m. He come looking at you, man, I need the cash for the door. Buddy, we're not even done yet. Like, go to sleep. I, and the fucking <laughs> dummy had it in his back pocket the whole time. <laughs> I didn't even have it. I came, It came, buddy gave it to me. LaRue had the cash, so I gave it to him. I need the cash. You already have I need the cash. <laughs> go to bed. You fucking waste this game. Get out of here. <laughs> Me, meanwhile, I'm VIP and every girl I see with some DC 69 rings on. Oh, yeah. You're getting to kiss, kiss the, the rings, rings kiss bitch. The rings, you can yeah, and I had to yeah. pay to get in. You did? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Bullshit. Wow, you fuck. didn't have a set of tits, Chris. Brother, I'm That's <laughs> right. I didn't. You I didn't have I, what? I, I had things I had, on my mind. I'm pretty sure I paid for you. Wow, Got yeah, it. but it wasn't. That's not the point. <laughs> that's not the point, dude. <laughs> that's not the point. Not the it's point. the fact that I had to fucking pay. <laughs> that somebody had to pay for me to get in to go watch my friend be a retard. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I think he had about 45 seconds on stage that night, too. Man. Yeah, I was too easy, hammered. Easy money. Easy money. It's easy like, money. That place is just weird now to me. Wow. To me, the, top the, the new it's, atmosphere. It's so it, it, I don't like it. I don't. I don't know how. Were you ever in the heyday when we would go up with like Dusty and all them, and we'd just light the top pad up and then yeah. go to fucking when, Boss Hogs and shit oh, in Westbridge? Yeah. The best was fucking always spring break up. Me, Jables, oh. and fucking Corey, and fuck, just go up there every fucking day. Right when the strippers would open. Well, first you go to the casino in the morning. Oh yeah, of course, you get spend that, that money that you didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Try and make some of it. Back. Yeah. Well, fuck, you know, rig pay times twelve. You know, yeah, twelve hundred bucks. Let's make that back. <laughs> and then we have we'll go to the and strippers half, and then we have boss. Three and a half lap dances at hand here, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make these count. 
Oh but fuck, them are the small money you did time. make was spent on strippers and coke. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> fuck. Whoa, Coca Cola, man. This is a clean podcast. And then now they're bringing in, <laughs> now they're bringing oh, in knee height now strippers. Now we got we got Portnoy coming in, shutting us down. Oh no, oh, we we uh, we don't give suspensions on the cast around here. <laughs> That's a punk. How move. bold that? That's a good thing. You're about twenty episodes too deep. <laughs> yeah, no shit, right? Like fuck, we've uh, we've touched on some fucking pretty touchy topics already. Yeah. I mean, where it's <laughs> that'll that'll happen on those. What deals. else can we do, really? Yeah. Honestly, I fucking. I mean, you had a veteran calling out Trudeau. I mean, kudos to that motherfucker. Yeah, that guy was right a beauty, there. man. That was a good conversation Rock's with him. Rock's a fucking beauty. Shout uh, out to him again. Yeah. Thanks for serving and everything. That's fucking oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, that guy's Amen. a fucking man. That was one of the coolest conversations I ever had. That guy's just so mentally tough. It was insane. Dude, you, you, you have to be. Oh man, like, he got his fucking leg blown off, and he's like, "Man, it's just a job." And then he brings his weed. He brings some of his veteran weed in all the time because now they pay for it. And he'll yeah. like come in, and he did a second one with us, right? And he fucking, he's like, "Yeah, you guys gotta come out. I, I fucking, they pay for all my weed." And it's like, it's fucking chronic, man. It, <laughs> I took a toke on like I'm whatever. I'll blaze at nighttime before I go to bed. Hey, it's legal now. Why not? Yeah, who gives a shit, right? I don't know about Tabor though. They fucking yeah, I seen the article and hey, fucking. You can do it in the garage here, boys. Don't worry. And you can't <laughs> step on the city property, eh? Mm. Well, I guess you call it a town around here. Hamlet. Oh. A ham. <laughs> a hamlet. A shithole. What? Maybe we should all just move to Barnwell. Did uh, oh, wow. Were I'm you not trying to convert to oh. Mormon here? <laughs> <laughs> Were you with us that night when I threw, I started stripping for the stripper at the top hat and she threw, I threw my shirt at her and she fucking took it and like wrenched it around her twat no. and uh, the fucking, her pussy ring fucking ripped two holes and it was like right when Ed Hardy, remember when Ed Hardy just came oh, out and it was there. like, it, Ed Hardy you was that deadly. Ed Hardy? Sure. Yeah. And it was deadly. Like yeah. to where, yeah. <laughs> it was, oh remember, yeah. Remember when we went into the Calgary Strip Club, you had that same shirt on and they wouldn't let us in? Yeah. You had, to, you had to flip it inside out. Yeah. It looked like, that was the same night, uh, that was your birthday night, yeah, right? Yeah, that was the 18th. And birthday party. we, I had a roll of loonies with me. I remember this clear as day and me and you were hammered. And I was like, well, fuck. And I slam dunk one in the, that one stripper, like the koozie when she's doing her playtime shit. Yeah. And then, oh, nice. Um, and then I was like, I had that 25 bucks in your old man and loonies in a roll of them. And then your old man was like, okay, time to go. I was like, who even watch me Randy Johnson, this motherfucker. <laughs> and I threw that fucking roll of loonies across. And that guy is just sitting there talking to his buddy. Just, and he wore it right in the fucking <laughs> dome. I blew him right off the chair. I was like, okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that guy just got, took a roll of loonies to the mug. Oh, did I feel horrible after that. The best, too, is we ran into our cousin at the concert there. And Which he's, one? He's like, I'm just not going to, I don't know if I should put it up there or not. Okay, was, what's the story? Tell the story. Well, you can cut it. It's Coney. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the cousin name? You can't uh, say it. It's Coney. Well, yeah. he, he, I don't know, eh? But, uh... <laughs> I don't think he gives a shit. He fucking rolls... So, Coney rolls up to me, leaving the saddle dome. He's like, hey, where are you guys going? Well, we're going to go to Speakeasy. He's like, okay, perfect. Here's $100. Give me 100 bucks. Go have fun in there. And me, never been to a strip club, don't know anything. Fucking, he has me 100 bucks. I'm like, oh, they've got cool shots in here or something? Fucking... All of a sudden, there's fucking chicks everywhere, but it got awkward for me because my fucking old man's in there and my stepmom at the time, and I'm like, it's <laughs> got a lot of awkward. Oh yeah, you know that what? was I'm a, like, you know I was what? fresh and single. I'm so surprised you didn't fucking time. pocket that fucking ooh, ooh, hundred bucks. Ooh, I did. Ooh, I was ooh. gonna say a fucking Dutch one like you would have just pocketed that hundred bucks, and walked out of there. So how was it? Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a Coca Cola. <laughs> Man, the stupidest thing is, 18 years old, walked into a strip club. You know what I did? And this is going to sound gay as fuck. I watched sports highlights. Because there, no, there was no one on stage. Yeah, you're not wrong. And then fucking... <laughs> so so I just sat there and watched fucking Chris, sports. Because yeah. we were at a Nickelback show. Well, Which is... Man, yeah. Yeah. Things wrong that night. A lot of gay watch, shit happened. You watch, yeah. you, watch, <laughs> you, watch, you watch Sports Center and then you listen to Nickelback. I mean... Fuck, man. You I, ever seen the women at a Nickelback just, show? Just... Yeah, that's program. all fuck yeah there I was I was 18 now. yeah I was I was freshly 18 and you took me that was your 18th My birthday 18th right? birthday and we fucking rolled in there and I didn't even watch a lick of that show hey why don't you come in here and drink some liquor with us I, f I can't remember who was with me but they're like hey you fucking stupid young bastard try and get some women in here and dancing and whatever 
Then we, it just turned into a fucking a shit show. party in there. It we was, had so many people in that booth. Because mm-hmm. my old man, shout out to him, <laughs> rents a suite for Nickelback for my 18th birthday. Holy. What that a is uh, probably top three drunkest I've ever been. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I, that was one of my top. Oh, it's up there. Top, top up, up there. Top, that's my top. Well, one. I've had, I've had a lot. Yeah, I've had a lot. Speaking of taco. Taco. I touched down on that point. What? What? <laughs> so, what? Man, what are you fucking talking about? Tear a story from you, buddy. Well, let's yeah, so how's me. life treating you? Wow, you know, just uh, <laughs> yeah, was, living the dream, you know. You can't do much weather. being a helper. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> working with a real asshole. Under, underpaid and underappreciated, you know, I fucking. Hey, he's not wrong. Well, <laughs> <laughs> just for, for everyone out there, uh, the old goat yoga sensei Foster himself is my boss, so it, times are tough. <laughs> He's sinking a lot of money into the program. You know well, what I mean? I mean so you got to take a wage cut. I'm For every about, other day, he's got to buy me a pack of smokes. I'm losing about fair. two bucks an hour, but it covers his cigarettes, so it make, means less stress for me when he's smoking. <laughs> How's yeah, that uh, new, new speaker you guys won? Oh, fuck. Holy that thing bangs. You know, see, we counted the other day, and I thought it was a little low, but... From what? Pro, what, what month? It, it's October, so from about the start of October. What's the story behind this speaker? Yeah. Wow. So... <laughs> the co-op in town there, yeah. the gas, station, gas station, you had to buy two monsters, you get a fucking entry into the stereo. Well, oh, that's right? breakfast in your world. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, that and a caramel. <laughs> this is t <teed> up. <laughs> and We're so, playing t-ball here. Yeah. And so, you know, <laughs> well, I've got about fucking, what was it for? It was, I think it was like for three months, eh? Fuck, that it, thing went, was, it went on for quite a fucking It was about while. three or four it months, went on and whole. it sucked. So the, the first month... We were in town working, and then we were gone for two months. We were gone for a and while, And I thought, yeah. fuck, we ain't going to win this fucking thing. I was so fucking mad. We came back to town. I was just buying monsters, just as usual. <laughs> we were fucking going down to Chin Cooley, going to work, and fucking Lane gets a phone call. I don't know who it is. I said, fucking answer it. We probably won the fucking stereo, you <laughs> cocksucker. He's answering it, and fucking nothing. <clears throat> Lost service, and so I phoned him. I said, hey, I think you just uh, phoned my helper. Yeah, you guys won the stereo. Well, fucking right, we did. <laughs> Spin it around. <laughs> so we it around. Those and hogs can wait. We fucking thought about it. We went down there. We welded them. We welded those tie-ins in as quick as we fucking could and went back to the co-op and picked that bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> does she work good? Oh, fuck, is it loud. Like, it is I fucking think, I think loud. the best part about the monster stereo is the empty 50 monster cans that yeah. are towered around. Yeah, just right from now. October, well, just from this month, we've got 50 monster cans. <laughs> So let me get this straight. You have two monsters and a caramel for breakfast. Well, and, well, cigarettes. And, 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 and I've uh, thrown in pepperoni sticks too. <laughs> yeah. Protein, hey, I guess. Yeah, if, it, if it's a slow day, we stop by the old Tim Hortons and get a couple of fucking sugar, sugar-coated yeah. old. Yeah, you thought Hoven's diet was good. My diet's probably better. <laughs> so, do you get pepperoni sticks with cheese or no, just, no, pepperoni. just pepperoni sticks? Just, I, I eat them while I eat the caramel. <laughs> The best part about working with Peyton was waking up in the morning and he comes to pick me up and walk outside. He's got a fucking cigarette in his mouth and a monster in his left hand at 6 in the fucking morning. <laughs> how, the, how, the hell, how the hell going. do you do it? Oh my god, that's legendary. The old heart will quit one day, but it hasn't quit yet, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, Foster, I would like to put a request in for Lane for days off. Yeah, when and uh, I'd like to to schedule it for like uh, December first. Yeah, you guys should come up to Edmonton December first. Block that, party that at the cat house. Yeah. <laughs> is that a weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't you know if you guys can get a Saturday. Saturday you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to run that one by Squarehead. I don't <laughs> know if you guys had listened to him or not, but the cats have been hanging out with this uh, Sparrow Blue Man. And fuck, man, they they're bringing rock back. Like they're, everyone's everyone's been tweeting me yeah. on. On Twitter, that heavy metal and right rock there. are dead and fucking this in the country. And you know what? Fuck you guys. Glorious Suns, Sparrow Blue, you name it. Fucking, they're playing. Right. <laughs> fun. You name it. Oh, is that yeah, a, they're playing. Fuck me. Are you the commissioner around here? Or what? <laughs> yes, this is the okay, fucking I guess we're going December 1st then. Hey, Foster, are you busy on the 1st? <laughs> well, no, I don't know. <laughs> 
You know, off the job to Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> All text. You ever stuff. seen an old piece of leather? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Man, that was fucking. The yeah. old tailgate party. Yeah, yeah that one got out of hand, too. Yeah. Fuck, uh, do we get weird? Just, <laughs> just a bunch of stupid assholes hanging out together. Just what could happen? What could go wrong? Absolutely what could go nothing. right? Good touche. Touche. Yeah, Great rebuttal good. on yeah. that one. <laughs> or whatever. Clap back if you want to call it that. Yeah, the old clap uh, back. The old clap back. <laughs> hey there, Shaq. I figured out why they, they named Twitter Twitter and they tweet. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh. Now we're getting scientific. Yeah. Here. This is a not good. Because you know tweet? Tweet also goes with chirp. They're all birds. You're always chirping people on Twitter. You can definitely tell he's a dad. Yeah, that is. Just, I don't know where you're reaching with that one. <laughs> you guys never thought of that? Your father. Hey, do you guys no. know why they call it welding? It's because you weld. <laughs> <laughs> Three things I like in this world: smoking, welding, and drinking. <laughs> it's it's not wrong. If it's not Pilsner, it's Monster. Yeah. Shout out to Monster keeping us alive on the patch. Yeah, I still don't know why they haven't sponsored me yet. <laughs> How about the mango ones, though, eh? How about those? I don't oh, know. I only drink green. Yeah, it's fucking. <laughs> Are you a one brand man, like a one yeah. flavor cat here? Yeah, just green. green. I only drink the green monsters. That fuck. Since I was about 15. <laughs> Two a day. Two a day? Two a day since I was 15, yeah. Jesus. See, you think sleeping takes so 10 years And I'm both the best shape of my life. 24 Being awake, now. drinking 24 monster. 24 now, yeah. 24 10. now. Yeah, so, so you nine, do that math. 9 times 365, you're looking at like... Fuck, times 700 two. and something or 8, whatever. No. no $9 a day? Five times 2. That's outlandish. Come on, let's not do this. We're out here trying to get math done. Man, have you seen the, the stats and the math in Alberta lately? The stats and the math. Thank you, fucking Nolly, you piece of shit. Oh, man. Did you see that if fucking that dip shit Trudeau that, gets back in? They're expecting fucking fuel to get up to 1850 a liter. Oh, a liter. What? Holy. Except and then but plus anyway. an extra on that for your housing and shit, another 5500 a year per household. Well, look at when for his the, dad for was For the in. carbon tax. Look at when his dad was in. It was 18% on fucking water. Well, you should still do like his dad did. Really well, turned well, political. Yeah, exactly. pretty, pretty good thing I don't have a fucking house of my own. Eh? <laughs> no shit. Oh, hey, dad, you're up at Fort Mac working. Hey, the but bills just came in. Where I was in. going with this is an acceptable passing rate in math right now is 41% at grade 9, 42% at grade 6. Hmm. Our fucking people are stupid. <laughs> I mean, you got four of them sitting here for fuck's sakes, man. <laughs> that whole passed at fucking eighty percent in math. Where'd you like, pull that fucking stat out of? Yeah. Well, because I fucking hate NDP and I fucking listen every time it's fucking brought so up. So that's what they're allowing people to get away with in school now. You're allowed forty-two percent in grade Christ, nine and forty-one percent in grade six. <laughs> Fuck and that's a passing grade. Yeah, we're laughing. Man. Yeah, because we're fucking smart there. Come on, Notley, you fucking... Well, you don't need math when you got calculators, eh? <laughs> She's rolling. She's rolling. She's rolling. God fucking, damn, uh... Living calculator in my pocket. <laughs> there wasn't a filter on those, eh? Foster, do you remember that night when we were sitting in the oil mins and we had the triple short night? Oh, fuck. The choo-choo train? I'll never forget that. Fucking me and Foster's. Or no, I was sitting there. I was fucking gooned. You it's bellied gooned. up at the oil can bar, and I couldn't even sit in my chair. I'm fucking classic hack. Gooned. Foster walks up behind me. Hack, how you been? What do you say we play a game? What game's that? Triple short game. All right, I'm in. What do we do? Triple short whiskeys and see who fucking falls out of their chair first. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> me, me and, Would you I, get one in? Oh, oh no, we drank quite a few. <laughs> oh man. I didn't get out of that chair. I think I was being that loser that peed on the bar. Like fucking. <laughs> oh, you did that one? Yeah, my classic move just. I didn't get out of the chair. I was the just best part is on you never got caught with it. I've only gotten caught once. <laughs> once. Since 18 to the age of 27, I've been peeing on bars 
and I got caught in Edmonton one time, and it was the funniest fucking thing you'd ever... I was dressed like a fucking retard. I had a big giant fur coat on. Classic Yeah. <laughs> cheetah print shirt and the salmon pants. Oh, you get the salmon pants? <laughs> yeah. The old... The banana the old, band. Oh, yeah. The old bandito himself. <laughs> yeah. Salmon pants. When the salmon pants are on, you know daddy is getting fucked. <laughs> and I walked up to the bar. I'm pissing all over it, ordering about three rye shorts. And this couple is beside me getting pissed all over their fucking... The woman got p- splashed back off the bar. And she goes, what the fuck? And all you could see is a piss stream coming out of the fur coat. And all of a sudden, I get a tap on the shoulder. This guy's like, are you fucking kidding me? Fuck off. <laughs> the security grabbed me by the skull and fucking ripped me in the street with my cock out. And looking like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I got just a moron. I fucking wasn't wearing a hat and I had the mullet slicked right back. Looking like a complete loser. Walking, trying to get my dick back in my pants. And like there's a lineup outside the bar. And all these people are like, holy fuck. Where do you find a guy like this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Robert, motherfucker. yeah, welcome to the South, the best, cunt. Yeah. Old dog tried to do it himself. He got busted, and got didn't busted he? got busted right when he was doing it. Old cock and ribs. Don't pull hawks move off, bud. <laughs> I'm a veteran of that move. I've only been... And I, was, uh, I wasn't being fucking stealth do you remember I wasn't our, thinking at that moment. you remember our first whiskey night when you never fought those Mennonites and... The oil can. Oh, the Boilermaker Renfrew, night. Renfrew, yeah, Boilermakers. Oh, boy. We were working Fuck. for Gord then. We had to go to work the next day. That was hell. And That was hell. Sunday night, whiskey night. Me, me Lewis, me, Lewis Renford, and you, and Simon. Damn, you're getting a scrap with all the minutes that are in the bar on Sunday There's night. There's five of us and 50 of them. And it's, a, it's about right? to go no down. It's about to go down, and there's all of a sudden four, not five. We look back at the bar, and there's Hack. Wait, you're sitting there talking to him, cock in hand, pissing, fucking having a great conversation. He and gets done, zips his pants up. Okay, boys, let's roll. I dumped about four liters of piss in cheese, <laughs> and it was just stink it piss. It was like, like I ate asparagus for a week. I was just say that. <laughs> oh yeah, like it just had a musty smell, and she could not clue. What the hell is that? Is it mold in here? <laughs> you She's fucking cold. somebody dunking. left the burner on. Did they not mop last night? Like <laughs> typical oil can. They didn't mop last night. The Lazy bitches. bitches. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't no. fucking believe it. That might be the most classy establishment. <laughs> I've had some of the best times of my life in that fucking bar. Speaking There's of best times, there, Hacksaw, you gonna make it down to Tabor Four and Four this year? Yeah, I'm gonna. It's it's in the schedule. It's I'm coming schedule? down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. So uh, we're putting a little. Can we, so can we're we, putting a team. Yes, in yes, we are. Line right here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're looking. You fucking make those MX jerseys the fucking team jerseys. We we made hockey jerseys. You made some. Oh, yeah. Oh so fuck. Uh, Everybody's number 69, by the way. Wow. <laughs> I haven't skated in two years. The best but, thing about uh, this group is Last time I played, share. I couldn't skate oh. either, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't playing last year, and then I got a text that Aaron Oskolski, like, damn near shattered his ankle, and they yeah, needed another get a guy. Pee. I went and played. It was embarrassing. I had both, both my brothers on the team. I was the best guy on the team. Well, I would hope so. Your, <laughs> both your other brothers can barely skate. They played hard their entire life. <laughs> There's not a lot of competition but, there. But they put me on defense. Old Nolan Canterbury puts me on defense. Like, buddy, I don't play D. Like, Let what, alone I can't skate backwards. backwards. <laughs> Great jerseys, though. <laughs> Great jerseys. Where are you wearing the old, the green, the the green, green Canterbury sprays? Yeah. Yeah, North them stars. are beautiful jerseys. Yeah. I think I still got one. Shh. Shh. Don't tell Canterbury. <laughs> hey, Canterbury spray, don't want to mention this here. Fuck, he's been asking about that. Well, that's a him problem. At I think this point. I got one. It's either me or Nate. One of the two. Hey Chris, are these new grinder stands or what? That's what I told Hack. He I said, "Fuck, you got a, one of them tripods." I said, "Fuck, Hack. If I would have known, I would have brought a grinder stand. They're yeah, both the same." Fine. Yeah, if you made it this far, this is a first episode that we're putting out on video too. By oh, the way, fuck. yeah, fucking hey, yeah. Would you look at that? Four and four is definitely the funnest weekend in this fucking town. And the town. worst weekend in this town. Oh man, when yeah. you're uh, when you go to drive five hours north. After that weekend, 
all you think is like, man, if I hit a fucking light standard at about a buck forty, it'd just end me. <laughs> hey, can someone can someone please fucking run me over? I'll pay for gas. Yeah. Like, it was like, man, when I got back from uh, Arizona and I got five, oh, I was probably man, well, a kilometer. Car broke down. Yeah, yeah a we were an hour and a half because we were an hour and a half that way. You were an hour and a half that way. I got, was a kilometer outside of Red Deer. And I was talking to you guys on the phone, like, what a great weekend. And I, all of a sudden, I'm like, gung, 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 gung. <laughs> what the fuck was that? All of a sudden, the light went out on the car. I'm like, oh, no. It's 2 a.m. Yeah. I'm like, come on. This and it's isn't... raining. Yeah, oh, fuck, man. That was. Fun. And then I'm just sitting there. I'm like, fuck, guys. My car just died, and it won't turn on. Like, well, nothing. have fun. We're heading back to Tabor. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We said yeah. we're going to turn around and go pick well, him up. Well, you need me to go pick Bye. you up. I just remember texting my boss, look, my car died. I'm not going to make work tomorrow. I fucking, I threw out a fucking Hail Mary snap being like, hey, stranded in fucking Red Deer. These two beauties out of nowhere come pick me up and drive me all the way to Edmonton. Hopefully I get my car to towed this. to the Canadian tire and the guy's like, when's the last time you got an oil change on this thing? Fuck, since I bought it? How long have you been? <laughs> it's a fucking $1,200 Jetta, man. I'm not putting no money into this thing. <laughs> like, oh, uh, the most money I put into it was the FM fucking aux cord so I can fucking listen to my beats on the fucking radio. I'm not changing the oil. In this thing. Well, the, uh, the motor seized up and she's only firing on one cylinder right now. Well, that probably explains why I only made her a kilometer Wait, outside of Red Deer. I'm going to go mix a drink. It makes me a fucking paralyzer. Yeah, or, uh, more ice. It makes me yeah, a no. Caesar. We need some more ice. ice. Yeah, oh, look at this. Yeah, on, yeah. Service at its finest. Life yeah, is good. That's hey? what happens well, when you have a helper. Yeah. yeah. Can you pause? Well, yeah, we can. But we can just continue talking while you're doing this. It all, yeah. Yeah, well, fuck. we'll go as long as you guys want. I don't give a shit. This will be the longest episode we've ever put out, actually. It's going to be the best. Mm-hmm. Well, not too often I get to have a podcast with the boys down south. So. Yeah, see, I thought this was going to be a phone conversation. Yeah, that's what uh, Olsen was telling me that you were... <laughs> Thought, what do we got to call the hotline? One eight hundred DC six nine. Hit us up. Hey? Who even sends that fucking picture in the group chat there? And yeah, out of him out of the fucking combine or whatever. And I'm looking at him. The fuck is he? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, we get it, Hooven. You're working. That's one like, hell of a field, Hooven. And then yeah. Brady's like, Oh, hack! You're in town. Scrolling it. Yeah, I still don't fucking see it. I was going to tell Brady, yeah, you're a dumb fuck. He ain't here. <laughs> yeah. All you Brady's, can see is Danger Cat truck. It's like a fucking thumbnail. Yeah. Brady's, Brady's, Brady's yeah. been in an iPad in his right pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the super zoom Google. Yeah, <laughs> that could come in handy, though, come to think of it. Old Titty Tuesday. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like we need to get some better titties on. Yeah, there. speaking of, we had the conversation about this the other day. I mean, oh, what's the conversation? We fucking... Well, the time the out here, we love... The group chat's dying. We love the women that show oh, their titties in the group chat, but we do. fucking... I mean, but it's dying. Like, is it's it not dying all, down. What happened to all the states people? And uh, they chime in. It depends uh, It depends on the week. Some days she uh, pops fair. off, and some days she doesn't. That's fair. I mean, the thong Thursday, though, is always a heater, thong. because it's it easy is. to fucking... Uh, that's an easy one. Well, yeah, yeah. take a I picture think, of your think, asshole. It's pretty easy, I think. I think she started dying down once you said... 18 plus and it has to be your picture i think things started slowing down at that point oh yeah and like Why were you sending in pictures well, or what? Like, <laughs> yeah care, 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 cut this part cut. yeah i definitely was <laughs> <laughs> yeah well fuck you know some things happen people fucking people change you know, man people change hey let me ask you something who the fuck you think you are yeah, who the fuck you think you are huh you motherfucker you think the only guy from charles who has got a gun <laughs> Good you guys run numbers and pump dope. <laughs> you know, guy with a fucked up face who don't know what it is behind him. I ain't fucking working for you. You got it? <laughs> you gonna keep this going? <laughs> and if you're looking for me, I live at 551 Bunker Hill Street. Stop by any time. You know where to find me. <laughs> Chris fucking Christopher guy, Walken yeah. just made a, a little guest I, you know, appearance. Two mice fall down <laughs> to a bucket of cream. The first mouse. He gives up and drowns. The second mouse, he's this is slightly he struggles. Oh, it's it's struggles. good, but when you're working all day and 
He's doing this. Huh? <laughs> Hand me the fucking grinder. Like, <laughs> hand me yeah, well, two mice. And I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> hand me the grinder. You want two sixty tens? You want? <laughs> you said five thirty two, huh? Fuck. <laughs> you doing a hot pass or a cap? I'm not following. Man, I gotta tell you though. What? One thing about Chach. She died. Still always talks about the fact that that fucking time you when you were dating Robbie. Yeah. And you showed up at the wedding wearing that fucking. Penguin suit or chicken suit or something like that. Um, I can't remember what the fuck it is, but it absolutely kills him. What did I wear? It was something like that. You something were wearing stupid. a chicken suit or something like that, and he said, "I fucking never have laughed so hard in my life." He <laughs> says, oh man, I fucking, I gotta pick his brain. Well, I wonder what I did. Oh, I'll Oscar. have to ask him Charge. tomorrow. Chachi. What are you doing? Oh, fuck that guy. He killed. He's, He's like, one, yeah, that one fucking hacksaw. He said he was, when he was dating Robbie, he showed up. He said he was just a fucking life of the party. <laughs> oh, man. Times have changed, haven't <laughs> they? Like <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, man. Yeah. Hey, fuck. We, we, we should probably release the video here one of these days. You think Tabor's Finest uh, is going to crack down on the Banana Bandit fucking video here? <laughs> that was a good one. That was great. That was probably my finest work, and I've never released it. You had the salmon pants on in that video. Yeah, that was a salmon pat night. You know I'm getting fucked up when I'm wearing the salmon pants. I'll tell you that for free. That and actually, fucking that fucking video actually popped up in my Snapchat memories the other day. No way, that's gold, man. Well, it would have been in fucking August when four and four was, but August. Well, it's or, April. March, April. That's when everything. <laughs> that's when it all. Well, when, you're, when you live in Tabor, everything ties together. It's yeah, that is true. <laughs> fucking. You, know, you only come together for the big moments, not holidays like Christmas, Thanksgiving. You come together with four on four whiskey night. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, all that shit. You man. Yeah, oh yeah, no what, fast ki- no, what fucking kills me is uh, every time I bring up Christmas around here, I'm like, yeah, no, we're going to go to the Oilmans on Christmas. What is it? Christmas. Christmas it's always Christmas, Christmas Day. Night. It, well, it's Christmas night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Christmas, Christmas night. You know, night. the bar from like 9 p.m. to it's cold. 2 a.m. And yeah. that place is rocking. Like, like it's 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 full. It's, like, it's, the, that's the only, pl- only three times you see that place full is Christmas, 4-4, four, four, and, and possibly Corn Fest. Yeah. Oh no! It was full of all. I missed Cornfest this year, which was uh, I, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, about I, it. I don't really care for it either. You four know, and four me is. And, me and Fosty went out. And I think we had we had a decent time, but I want to give a time. quick shout out to Tanner James Band, man. Them guys, they're starting to play again, and they've been out a couple times. And like Tanner Holthy? Yeah, like he was he was good. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Fucking right. Where was this at? That guy. That guy played. No, uh, he played at like four o'clock. Oh, you were not yet. You were oh, still yeah, working. I was working. But uh, Just, uh, no, like Cornfest itself, I take it or leave it. Mm-hmm. Love going to the Royal. Yeah, I love the DAC. There's nothing better than that DAC. Oh, the downtown action center. Nothing better than the DAC day football. we had a football. If anybody night. rolls through Tabor and you need a place to drink, you need to go to the Royal Hotel. That's the local watering hole. And there's a couple guys you'll run into there. Yeah, steamer, big steam, uh, recliner, Rudy, meat, yeah. Meathead. Wilkie might be in there. Yeah, the old my stepdad will be Uncle in there Ray. for sure. Uncle Ray, fucking that place. If you need a laugh, you go in there on a <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> it's, remember yeah, that? Yeah. If you roll in there about Sunday at two thirty, Ray, when the early games are finishing and the uh, afternoon games are starting, it's a gong show. It's the best time you've ever seen. <laughs> it's the fucking funnest place. If they start place. playing Shaggy, you're in one. Oh, yeah. Sit down and you're not leaving Tabor. Salted rim Caesars, hey? Man, it's warm as fuck. The guy fucking was gypped me on the ice cube. <laughs> Jesus, there's warm nothing as left. Fuck. I don't fucking live in this house. There's no there's ice cube problem. A uh, shout out, uh, we live? We need ice cubes. <laughs> Are we live? Are we live? <laughs> yeah, we're Facebook living. Yeah, we're going so, to live for now. Somebody, somebody tweeted out, we need some ice cubes. Call Hoover's Ubers. Uh, they don't answer. <laughs> Take shut your down. mongoose downtown. <laughs> Look at that, the mongoose. Bring the fucking chariot you know kill, behind you. you. Know what kills me is all the old boys down at the Royal that ride their bikes down yeah. there. They know they're getting fucked up. Yeah, when you see about 12, 10 speed sitting out front, <laughs> and the best is fucking uh, Chip. When he's got the fucking Bluetooth speaker hockey tape to it, <laughs> yeah. and he's got ACDC just fuck 
fucking blaring rolling down the street. <laughs> back in back! I hit the sack! And it's been just, a while since I've been back! Yeah. You see Chipper just rolling down the street vibing. I'm like, fuck, this guy's a legend. The best it's part. about like playing fucking hockey in Kainai when you see six horses tied up to the fucking <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> Fuck, we are gonna be in one tonight, boys. Oh, like, that is ten, like top fucking three scariest places to play hockey. I think. Jesus Christ, but, oh, I've never been. Uh, you never played there, huh? Oh, I played in Kai and I. Oh, yeah, I've, I've never seen so many police escorts. Like, <laughs> every time you go in there, police escort. Have, yeah. The one t- when we Have were you playing boys there, ever played there on a Friday night. Oh, when we yeah. played there. It not. was fucking. It was our. Oh. It was Spud League. It was Spud. Oh, yeah. It was Spud League champions. Was that sandwich time, huh? It was. Yeah. We won game one in Tabor. It was oh. Game two there. We were. If we won, we won Spud. Well, fuck. All of a sudden, hey, 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 hey fucking spear yeah. and drum started coming. Playing second period, we played the whole game five on three. Yeah. The linesman never left both blue lines. Every time you play, <laughs> and I, you're five on three. But I thought, for them, they're they're oh, they're on the power play. Well, yeah, clearly, yeah. But the best wrong. thing was when fucking Tabor had the junior B team, eh, and Kai and I had theirs. The 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 what it, Southern Express. Yeah, and fucking my old man Wasn't was that, in the oh, yeah, yeah. penalty box, eh, and he fucking. What are you gonna do, Whitey? And my old man pulls out the old hockey stick and fucking old cowboy. <laughs> Shoots them all down, eh? Oh, he, no. It was, she was a police escort out of there that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, they were riding their horses quick. <laughs> so, the one native he did tell me, though, he goes, because I would, I would muck it around in the corners with him. And I'd fucking, I'd go, like, whatever, boys. Like, we're fucking playing hockey tonight. We're That's playing. how you earn their respect, though. And, and you buddy, you beat gotta, up. You he'd come up to me, and he's like, you know what? We're not going to mess around with you 2-4. We're not messing around with you 2-4. Because you're playing with us. You're not scared. Fucking fucking right. You can't be, though. Like, well, you could no. be. As soon as they seen you were scared, they were on oh, you. Oh, then they fucked you. They fucked you it's over like, hard. Geez. Fucking guy broke his stick and the, the native fucking stole the good stick and played the rest of the shift with his stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a power move. I like yeah. it. That's a great move. I like it. So, <laughs> they got the rink packed, right? And... It, don't get me wrong. We're playing midget B hockey here. Like it's nothing, nothing big. Nothing to cry home about. But eh? <laughs> same thing. We're down five on three. We've been down five on three for like eight minutes here. Coach throws me out on the ice. I get a breakaway, and I bury. On five on three. And I bury. And stupid hoof. You know when I score, I like to let everybody know. Because I don't score very player. often. So when I score, I let everyone. I do the old fucking glove sweep in front of Kainai's bench. Terrible move. Terrible move. The <laughs> worst move you could that ever day. fucking yeah. do. I had the crowd leaning over, screaming at me on my own bench. I've never been so scared in my life. Oh, I would be too. We get we get into our, the room, and then we're now we're going we're up eight three going into the third, and they are in an exhibition game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this, <laughs> this is the this is a, they were they were a league they were a league team. And they're fucking banging with their feet. Oh, they get that fucking we want, spirit drum going. In. We, want we, want fuck we want blood. We want blood. We want blood. It's fucked. and it's like holy fuck. Yeah, you're fucking 15 you got, years old. Like Jesus. And the Christ, best was, about the front lines. They speak about it on Letter Kenny's the old Indian flu. It's real. Oh yeah, it's, it, it is. is. It's 100. I've gone to Kainai with nine players on a 24 player team. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Where are you boys at? Oh no, I'm sick today. Bullshit, I seen you at fucking school. You're fine. <laughs> I seen you at school. <laughs> we had math together. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck. We had forty two percent. I got a case of the shits. Remember when we were in fucking Bantam second year? And then that, that's when we got when called, you got up, called to up to play. Our team. And you always heard them horror Inferno. stories about fucking midget, eh? And so oh, yeah. we go up we're playing midget and you know, I was still pretty big and and fuck it. I, I got partnered with probably the best hockey player you could get partnered with. Tyler Riccobucci. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing D with Booch. Oh, yeah, that's when Booch started and, D, man. And so me and Booch are playing together, and, you know, like, I'm trying to play normal, and he's God knows where he is. And all of a sudden, fucking hell breaks he loose, feel- and this guy's yelling at him, go back and build a railroad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. And the no. ref is oh. fucking choking Booch out and and I'm thinking, Jesus, this is what midget is? Like, <laughs> holy fuck. I don't want to. That was the same game. That was the same. first year bantam. Uh, 
Well, maybe that's what it was. First year banter. But that was the same game Jesse Tams punched out punched a girl. Out girl. <laughs> He's in a scrum down there, and all of a sudden, he hears skate, skate coming up behind him, and he was... turns around and fucking socks Ooh. this broad. Oh, my turned God. Turned out to be this guy's girlfriend on the team as well. He's playing as well, and then they got into it as well on the ice. Fuck. Because I was in the room. I got fucking drilled from behind. I never played it. Yeah. Never played a midget game again. <laughs> Blew my shoulder out. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was this almost is... like the time we rolled in a six sick up before a midget A game, and these fucking two boys roll into the room, fucking just start shooting the shit with us. Hey, you boys got an extra stick we could borrow? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Mid game, the goalie skates off the ice and starts a brawl with his own teammates in the bench in six sick up. <laughs> oh my Man, god. Man, we had to play Kainai in fucking bench when they were the in the, when they were in the A. We had to play uh. the first. Two periods without them having a goalie. <laughs> I just remember Rod Olden looked at looked at us. And, Don't score. <laughs> okay, we're trying to. We're trying you to, got it. We're trying to get out of here alive. Yeah, you scored three goals. You got to pass the puck around. Yeah, yeah that was the first two periods. <laughs> Everybody on the puck. We're score. trying to get out of here alive. No one score. Yeah. Uh, the fuck? Cardston. We played cards midget second year. Uh huh. And we started a, a hallway brawl. Oh, God. A, a, a legit hallway brawl. Game got done. We beat them 8-2. And someone started chirping Schmitty. Shit. Oh, yeah. There's a Shit. fucking... There's a, <laughs> there's a weapon. There's a lethal <laughs> weapon. You know if anybody, Schmitty, right? Yeah. You know if Schmitty. anybody's watched Nine Lives, you know who Schmidt is. And Schmitty... First episode. Like, Schmitty now is like 140 pounds. Schmitty then was like 90 pounds. <laughs> Schmitty like, now is like 92 pounds. He was like, first, he was he was first year midget and fucking. His balls weighed 80 pounds. Let's he just was say fucking that. like, let's go, <laughs> boys. Let's go, go fucking. Yeah. I'm not fucking around. He's, he's playing, right? Yeah. And we beat him. And the one native started coming walking towards us. Fuck you guys. And Schmitty's like, ha, we just beat you 8 2, you piece of shit. And Good chirp. <laughs> It checks it out. Smart, smart move. Solid, smart right? Move. Solid, right? Sitting in, in a reservation. And uh, Buddy comes over and swings at Schmidt. I'm like, oh shit. So I swung at him. Clocked him. Fucking geeks comes back. Thinks it's Schmidt. Starts beating on Schmidt. I beat him up. Now we got Ian Stafford. Um, oh, uh, Jason Jones, Polaris jacket. If you remember uh, the, the linesman and jacket Tabor every time of the year yeah. with the ponytail that looked like Jesus. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jason yeah. Jones and then Dan Arnold. And oh, backpad oh, Dan Arnold, you know, backpad the arm, the arm backpad. wrestling <laughs> champion of Tabor Alberta. So, so Ian gets in there right in the middle, and he's fucking teeing off nice on feet, this bro. kid. <laughs> Thanks. Like he's he's doing well. He got socked a couple times, so he's like, okay, you know what? I'm in. I'm in. I'm going. Well, we're in the middle of this, and I get grabbed by our own Whoops. teammate. Our own teammate grabs me and drags me into our dressing room. Oh, good one. Drags me into our dressing room. You dra- put it by him. <laughs> I fucking told you don't put this thing beside me. That's fair. It's still good. So We're still in frame, eh? Our own, our own teammate Bottom drags me back sure. into our dressing room. And he's like, no fighting, no fighting. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Our fucking team's a battle here, and you're dragging guys away from the fight? <laughs> like, what a fucking idiot. We're at the War of Normandy here, and you're dragging yeah, me out? Like, the best part is that kid's a fucking... Supposed to be a Marine or whatever the fuck he is nowadays. What an idiot. <laughs> yeah, dum-dum. Hello, dum-dum. Yo, fucking shoot some bullets at me, please. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. After a hard weekend with the fellas, fucking Holy definitely fuck, I'll worked, take a I bullet in the door. I just for 35 straight days. Someone shoot at me. <laughs> Well, yeah, no, I don't mean no disrespect there. Fucking shout out to everyone serving. Oh, fuck. oh yeah, absolutely, like, yeah. absolutely, fucking. That takes a lot of fucking guts. Yeah, I, I'm, guts I don't have. Do you ever, I know for a fact I wouldn't fight for this fucking country, <laughs> no, not the state that it's in. No, <laughs> maybe next year. May, yeah, maybe <laughs> next year I'll fucking. Maybe fight next year I might be in the front We're right around, right yeah. around 362 I'd days to the next the election. Girl, no, 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 fuck, fuck no. no. Lane, oh, you know what chance. the best part about big money is? Let's hear it. He doesn't give a shit about Does who, not. anybody and what. Nope. Big fuck money. You. Big I, money I don't fucking, care. The best part about me is I hate everyone. So I, I love it. it. I love it. 
It's fucking awesome. Well, you're a cunt of a human. Well, I hold you accountable a lot of times. Oh man, I fuck out. Yeah, that video you posted, that was fucking awful. Oh yeah, fucking, he's well, ripping fuck. into me all the time. <laughs> Why would you post that, you fucking dumbass? You're like, degenerate. Yeah, you're a loser. And like, fuck me, like just like, self esteem. You're like Jesus Christ. Self esteem yeah. way down. This guy's six years younger than me, and he's fucking making me feel terrible. <laughs> yeah, like fuck this guy. The guy's still a helper. Don't let him. Do me, yeah, hit you too at bad. the end of the day, I just think. About fucking, you know, where would I rather be in life? His shoes or mine? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, everyone, thanks for coming here. I'm, hey, like, I'm leaving. I'm out of this shit. Hang out with me. Every I know day, so. that's the fucking downfall. Yeah, there is like, do you want to be on Foster's Fabrication or do you want to be a Danger Cat? Well, like, I did. Yeah. I did have a little uh, opportunity there with the Danger the Cats. We got V-Top in the background just slinging us beers. We yeah, he's that. just the... He, he'll chime in every now and then. He's not scared. No. Fuck. Well, boys, I mean, that's an hour and 40 minutes. Jeez. Should we wrap her up or what? Wow, well, should we start another one and start drinking more? Yet. Yeah, what? You're not done yet? I mean, we could we could stop this one and start another one for later. Since <laughs> you're here. That is true. We could do that. Well, yeah, let's do that then. That's um, well, this idea. is uh, yeah. this is part Who one of Tabor. Of and an idea, uh, we'll get into part two. And if you're listening... Just draw, drop your social handles if you wanna if you want that clout. Um, at Lane Big Money Instagram and Twitter. Don't bother following me on Facebook. I don't use it. <laughs> this is uh, old Hoover's Hoover's Twitter. It's Hooven with four O's. <laughs> Instagram Hooven with four O's and Facebook. Fuck off. That's for family. <laughs> This is Foster's Fabrication, 403-393-0079. And the phone number was dropped, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So if you stayed this long, and just a reminder that if you use the discount code PODCAST69, you'll get 15% off your order on DangerCast.tv. DCTV is live now. You just need to sign up at WatchDCTV.com, and you can sign up for DCTV and watch nine lives. (laughs)